Hello everyone, my name is Angie and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Angie Rose Nomad. Today I have a read it or leave it round two video for you guys. So if you're unfamiliar with read it or leave it, I'm going to link my original video up in the cards or down in the description somewhere where you will be able to click it and find out more. But basically what it is, is I am picking six books for two months and if I don't read it, I have to unhaul it. I have completed the first round and I made a little tweak. So if I read four books, that is succeeding and I can take two of the books and move them over. So let's just get into what I read for round one. I did not finish two books, so I moved those over. So we'll get to those last. But the first thing that I read was The Plot Against America by Philip Roth. I ended up really enjoying this. I listened to most of it on audio and I decided to keep it. The next thing that I read was The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. This was the first book in a YA trilogy, I think it is. Um, I, I did enjoy it, but I don't see myself rereading it, so it had to go. And I think I will continue with the second one from the library. I really liked the concept. I thought it was fun and entertaining, so I think I will continue, but I'm not going to reread it. And then I read Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I had so many problems with this book, so it's gone. And lastly was The Odessa File, which sadly I DNF'd. I just could not get into it. I thought it was a little scattered and all over the place. And I tried to listen to it on audio, which might have been my mistake because I was not like staring at the words. I'm really weird with audiobooks. Are you guys like, are there certain things you can't listen to on audio? Some things I struggle a lot to concentrate on through audio, so but it might have been the book or it might have been me. I just couldn't get into it, so I decided to give it away and hopefully someone who will enjoy it will stumble across it and say, hey, that's the book for me. So then we get into the two that I moved over for round two, and the first is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Yeah, I don't know why it's still sitting there, but I have not picked it up quite yet. And I have books one through three. I really want to give this a shot, but lately it seems like I'm just not being drawn into this book. And the same goes for the second book that I moved over, which is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I might have given myself too much fantasy, which is absolutely ridiculous because I used to love fantasy. And I'm going to put one of these down because they're getting kind of heavy. I previously read this book. This is a reread. I think I've read books one and two. And I wanted to put this on the list because I needed to get to book three, but I didn't remember what happened. But I remembered enjoying this and I'm not enjoying this as much. Maybe it's because I currently have so many books started. I did so great in reading in March and April. It's just, oh, woo. April, I've read one book that I really did not like and I DNF one that I was super excited about. So I think I'm just kind of going through a slumpish phase where I'm picking like, I think I have currently seven books started, which is insane. I read multiple books at a time, and it's usually no more than four tops. So I need to focus on one book or one or two or three at most and get some of these books read. So as I mentioned, I did finish a book that I did not like, and it was actually a book from Read It or Leave It Round 2, and it is The Alchemist by Apollo Callego. This book was so bad. I, I I did not enjoy it. I know a lot of people do enjoy it, and some people think that it's just terrible, utter rubbish. So I'm glad that I was not the only one that thought this, but this is about a shepherd boy named Santiago who decides that he is going to go visit the pyramids of Giza. He has a dream, I believe, about them, and then goes to see this gypsy woman and gets confirmation from this king that there is a treasure there. So he goes on this quest to find his personal legend, I think that's what they call it. And yeah, I can't really say much more about this book. Um, I thought that the portrayal of women in this novel was just terrible. Um, their place was basically, you know, keep silent and support your man, which I did not like at all. And then I thought that the author was trying to do a kind of like self affirmation kind of thing. Like, Oh, I wrote this novel. Look at me. I don't know if it's just me taking it wrong because this is a translated work. 
But I mean, really, the whole point of this book is basically if you want something really, really bad, if you want it so bad, it's going to happen. Okay. So a little bit of the April wrap up. I gave this book two stars. Next up, I have Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This was on my January TBR, which I did not touch. I want to watch, it's either a show or a movie, but it has Michael B. Jordan in it. And I need to read this first. I need to see what it's about. I know it follows a fireman named Guy, and he is charged with burning the printed word. And he is fine in his life until he meets a woman named Clarice, who kind of changes his perspective and shows him how people used to live that didn't live in fear all the time. So I really am interested in this book and need to pick it up. Next is A Spool of Blue Thread. This is by Ann Tyler and it was shortlisted for The Man Booker and also won the Pulitzer. I have been wanting to check it out for quite a while and all I know about it is it says on the back that there are four generations of lives unfolding in and around the sprawling lovely Warren house that has always been their anchor. Finally, one that I'm going to get to, one that will not be moved to round three. I can guarantee you that it's going to be Seven Wonders by Ben Mesrich. This is a globe-trotting thriller that's rife with historic secrets, conspiracies, and intrigue. Sounds amazing. Cover is stunning, and I've had this on my shelves for a really, really, really long time. I cannot believe that I filmed this video in under 10 minutes, you guys. Let's just let's just take a moment and bask in it. And yeah, this is weird. It feels very unusual to be ending a video this quickly. Let me know down in the comments below if you prefer shorter or longer videos. Me personally, it's really dependent on my mood, but the majority of the time I like a good long video. I don't know why. I just I don't like really clicking around all that much. I just like to put it on something and have it in the background noise. You know what I mean? If you have read any of these books, let me know your thoughts on them. Or if you think I should pick up one right away, be sure to tell me. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to become part of the tribe if you have not already. I post new bookish videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, the majority of the time. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye.